three digit numbers 501 to 600 Starry, can you tell me the cost of the game that we bought yesterday? The amount is written on the bill kept there. What happened, Starry? Why are you confused? Let me see. The cost of the game was rupees 502. Starry, you have learnt how three digit numbers are formed. You have to read these numbers in the same way. See, 502 means there are five hundreds, zero tens, and two ones. Starry! Now, let us take another example. You remember the garlands of bead starry? Suppose we have 51 garlands with 10 beads in each and 1 garland with 6 beads. Now we have to form groups of garlands with 10 garlands in each group. How many such groups are formed, Starry? Yes, we get five groups. Are any garlands left? Yes, one garland with ten beads in it and one garland with six beads in it is left. Five groups with ten garlands in each Make fifty tens, that is five hundreds. One garland with ten beads equals to one ten, and one garland with six beads is same as six ones. So the number formed is five hundred and sixteen. Okay now, Starry, let us read all the numbers from 501 to 600. 501 502 503 504 505 506 507 508 509 510 511 512 513 514 515 Five hundred and sixteen, five hundred and seventeen, five hundred and eighteen, five hundred and nineteen, five hundred and twenty, five hundred and twenty one, five hundred and twenty two, five hundred and twenty three. Five hundred and twenty four, five hundred and twenty five, five hundred and twenty six, five hundred and twenty seven, five hundred and twenty eight, five hundred and twenty nine, five hundred and thirty, five hundred and thirty one. Five hundred and thirty two, five hundred and thirty three, five hundred and thirty four, 
five hundred and thirty five five hundred and thirty six five hundred and thirty seven five hundred and thirty eight five hundred and thirty nine five hundred and forty five hundred and forty one five hundred and forty two five hundred and forty three five hundred and forty four five hundred and forty five five hundred and forty six five hundred and forty seven five hundred and forty eight five hundred and forty nine five hundred and fifty five hundred and fifty one five hundred and fifty two five hundred and fifty three five hundred and fifty four five hundred and fifty five five hundred and fifty six five hundred and fifty seven five hundred and fifty eight five hundred and fifty nine five hundred and sixty five hundred and sixty one five hundred and sixty two five hundred and sixty three five hundred and sixty four five hundred and sixty five five hundred and sixty six five hundred and sixty seven five hundred and sixty eight five hundred and sixty nine five hundred and seventy five hundred and seventy one five hundred and seventy two five hundred and seventy three five hundred and seventy four five hundred and seventy five five hundred and seventy six five hundred and seventy seven five hundred and seventy eight five hundred and seventy nine five hundred and eighty five hundred and eighty one five hundred and eighty two five hundred and eighty three five hundred and eighty four five hundred and eighty five five hundred and eighty six five hundred and eighty seven five hundred and eighty eight five hundred and eighty nine five hundred and ninety five hundred and ninety one five hundred and ninety two five hundred and ninety three five hundred and ninety four five hundred and ninety five five hundred and ninety six five hundred and ninety seven five hundred and ninety eight five hundred and ninety nine six hundred hey starry the last number we read was six hundred can you tell me how many garlands with ten beads will we need yes perfect sixty garlands let us solve some examples now here are some pairs of numbers we have to insert the correct sign of greater than smaller than or equal to the first pair of numbers is 538 and 
583. Here, Starry, compare the tens place digit. So, the number 538 is smaller than 583. In the next example, the numbers are 598 and 599. Can you answer the simple one? Yes! On comparing the digits in the units place, we find that 598 is less than 599. Now the last pair, 545 and 525. Which digits should we compare, Starry? Yes, on comparing the digits in the tens place, we find that 545 is greater than 525. In the next example, take a look at the flashcards. If the number written on it is even, then write E on it. If the number written is odd, then write O on it. The first flashcard has the number 514. It has the digit 4 in the units place. So, it is an even number. Let us write E on the card. The next number is 523. Is it odd or even? Yes, 523 is an odd number since the units place digit is 3. Let's see what is the next number, Starry. Yes, it is 587. What is the units place digit? The units place digit is 7. So, 587 is an odd number. The next number is 600. Should we write O or E on this card, Starry? Yes, we should write E because 600 is an even number. The next example is very interesting. Here are some maths with numbers written on them. Starry, you have to jump on the maths on which the numbers are two more than the previous number. Suppose you are on mat numbered one. Then you cannot jump on the mat numbered two. You have to directly jump on the mat number 3. Did you understand, Starry? Okay. Let's see which numbers are written on the mats. The first number written is 326. Let's start. From 326, let's jump to Mat numbered 328. Can you trace the path now? Yes. From 328, you have to go to number 330, then to 332 and 334. Starry, 
here are some easy questions for you. Answer them very quickly. Which number comes after 532? Yes, 533. Now tell me, which number comes before 571? 570. Perfect! Can you tell the number that comes in between 519 and 521? Yes, it is 520. Starry! Now don't forget how to read three-digit numbers.